Hey Hilltoppers, Annie here with Weekly Updates. I'm sitting down with Toast Party. How are you doing guys? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty Why good. don't you all introduce yourself? Say what part you play in the band. I'm Momin Ahmad. I play bass and I uh, do some singing and I do some sound audio engineering stuff. Uh, I'm Jake. I play guitar and sing. I'm Ben. I play the drums. Alright, so what are y'all's greatest musical influences, individually and then as a group? For me, I really got into the Red Hot Chili Peppers when I was in high school. Uh, I was a bass player, Fleas, you know, awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm also really into like jazz, in particular Jack of Pistorius, who's like, I don't know, the best bass player ever, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, man, um, who influenced me? Uh, I like the White Stripes a lot. Yingwei. Jack White. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jack White. No, that's <laughs> um, I like the White Stripes a lot. I like a lot of '90s bands like Pavement, uh, the Pixies. There's a band called Jeff the Brotherhood that I really like a lot too. Of Montreal, Tom Petty, um, <laughs> Buddy Holly. Uh, you know, it's like I like so many people. I guess just like I, I learned hard, a lot from a bunch of different stuff. Yeah. Uh, for me, as a drummer, mostly uh, John Bonham. Zeppelin was a pretty big influence. Uh, the Chili Peppers, of course, you know, they got the, the drum and bass down pretty hard. And uh, I like a lot of a lot of 90s music, Sublime, and like, uh, uh, dude, Tool, Tool does oh, yeah. it for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tool is where it's at. Danny Carey is just an incredible drummer. I use his sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are heavy, man. <laughs> yeah, he's got some big sticks. <laughs> but so. definitely Bonham, John Bonham, Zeppelin, that's number one for me. Okay, so as a band, what other musicians or bands represent your sound? Cool. People really seem to think we're like a, a heavier, modest mouse. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I modest mouse with some like more punk stuff and yeah. like a little, they, a little more shredding on the guitar there. Yeah, yeah like, like, a little definitely more crazy, some, yeah. like weird. Yeah, shredding. it's like like if they were to, I don't know, like I feel like take a bunch of uppers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like similar, like. Yeah. <laughs> um. Stylistically, what vibes are you going for? Like, in what you wear and how you present your band? Uh, shirts with holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like shirts with holes in no. <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh, I, don't, I don't know, that's probably something I should, I don't really focus on my image. Yeah. I'm so obsessed with my playing and how it sounds. You let the music speak The image, yeah. which I know is important, but like, I don't know. The product, the quality of the product is... is I mean, you create the music or let the image create itself. Yeah, you know? there you go. I mean, I'm really classy, so I wear really nice clothes all the time, you know, so I'm giving <laughs> off a really classy vibe, I think. So, it's the hair that does it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah very, very, very just You can tell classy. all by the hair. Like, that, Do you that, have that, a story behind the hair, or is it just... I'm not are, sure if it's what, appropriate. Is it natural? <laughs> well, okay. well, okay, basically, just one night, my friend was like... Because I was talking about dyeing it, I was like, dude, I might dye my hair just, you know, for fun, whatever. Like, it'll be cool. And, but I, I didn't want to buy the dye, and my friend was like, if you buy the dye, then, like, I mean, sorry, if, like, he'd buy the dye if I just dyed my hair right then, so I was like, let's do it. And then it turned out really horribly. <laughs> like, it was like, because I have, like, yeah, like, black hair, um, pretty much, and, like, the first time we did it, it was, like, red. Like, it was like, yeah, it was, like, red, and then, like, Jimmy I had Jake. Yeah, I, I I I bleached it like three times in twenty four hours, but it was not. Really... It's not good. For oh yeah, it was like it was like I was worried like I was touching it and like if I pulled too hard like stuff was coming out. And like, not about it. I had my experiences with dyed hair. Dude, this is from August. Yeah. Yeah. So as a band, where do you see yourself in the next few years? Progressing. Grammys. No, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, like I mean, I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah. No. Like I can't. I don't have that kind of perspective. Like. So much changes in like a month. Yeah. I mean, we've only been around for not that long, but we've been do doing pretty well for like I guess how long? Four months. Four really? months. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen you like three times. So yeah. It's like well. we've been getting like you know a good amount of people. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, not huge. We're like 40, 50 people out to most of our shows now, which is a lot of fun. And uh, just I'm just right, I'm not focusing too far ahead, but it's like right now I'm just focusing on getting more people coming to each show or whatever. And but yeah, I want to go on tour for sure. Are you thinking about releasing any EP or album or anything? I'm actually, yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> it's in the works, but it's like, I'm about to release a song soon, like probably the next few days. One of our more uh, popular songs that we have is called Cosmonauts. <laughs> and uh, I'm really bad at naming songs, but, <laughs> but it's one of the songs I love. You're really good at naming songs. 
don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's, it's, that's one of the toughest things is when he's trying to communicate what song he wants. I don't have any song names. So except like, oh, song like the name that fast one. That fast one where Bowman starts. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty poor. And, yeah, we don't use a set list either, so it makes it really hard on these guys. But they're both really good at what they do, so I'm lucky. <laughs> So, what are your outside passions? Like, what do y'all do aside from the band? I play in other bands. <laughs> I literally, I play in like seven bands. I work in an internship where I record bands. Do a lot of sound. Knows what you want. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, that's all I want to do. So, I mean, I have to do school, I guess. But you, know. <laughs> yeah, you have to. He goes to UT. He does a lot of school. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, um, Too much school. I mean, I guess I like I do a bunch of music stuff outside of. Uh, too. Like, I like to record, I like to jam, but uh, I'm not in any other bands right now rather than the Toast Party, but I like movies, I, I, love, I love movies, uh, I, like reading. Are I, like, I like I like reading, I like uh, yeah, watching movies, um, playing music pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a couple other bands going on, uh, Moen plays bass in one of my other bands, uh, uh, and other than that, I, you know, I have a part-time job at Costco. I like to cook oh. food, you know, if I wasn't Ooh, playing, like, if I wasn't playing music for a living, I'd be cooking for a living. Yes. Oh, I didn't even I know, didn't that. Even know that. I yeah. never would have guessed that. You need to cook for a living. I like, cook, uh, I like, I like cooking like too, cook. right? I hate cooking. That's because you're really bad at it. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling the love. <laughs> I'm very kind to them. And Wait, if Jake is being nice to you, it means he doesn't like you. Yeah. The meaner I am to you. Like the worst things he says to you. If I demean you as a person, it means I really care yeah. about you. That's so sweet. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get to the really tough questions. What are your favorite movies? Ooh, ooh, Lord of the Rings. oh man, Lord Star of the Rings. Wars. Star Wars. We're gonna get along, man. <laughs> I, I like to nerd it out. That's, that's, that's how I go. Oh, uh, I like uh, I like a lot of old movies, um, but I also like new movies too. I like The Shining. I like Jack anything Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Doing, like I it. like any Quentin Tarantino movie yeah, and like any Christopher Nolan movie. Yeah, I like yeah the Batman trilogy like with Christopher Nolan. Oh, all about the whole auteur director scene. Yeah. I like you know, so. I like a uh, Casablanca man. Humphrey Bogart is probably my favorite. Like him, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Jack Nicholson. That's an interesting group. Yeah, there. yeah it's, it's yeah it's like they're uh yeah. Okay, favorite books. Lord of the Rings. I'm reading this book right now <laughs> called uh, Ishmael, which is like a gorilla who's learned telepathy and is explaining the condition. <laughs> oh, some doctor and just how we're falling apart in society. It's really That's interesting. That's really interesting, actually. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm a philosophy major, so it like really plays into all the stuff I'm learning in that. I like uh, the Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath yeah. and Dracula, like the old Bram Stoker yeah, version. And then um, On the Road, Jack Kerouac, mm -hmm. top three probably, right now at least. Okay. What's your favorite Beatles song? Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> She's so heavy. I want yeah. you. I want to. Yeah, that song is awesome. Man, see, I don't really know th that many of the names because we always. My roommate loves Beatles and he has a bunch of vinyls. Our roommate is the White like Album. The White Album is album. like just like my favorite. His album. roommate is like a. Or the Magical. Beatles I don't know. Magical Mystery artist. Tour. White Album. Yeah, I, I can't pick. I mean, really, I probably couldn't pick either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Eleanor Rigby. Paper ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. Those are those are two of my favorites. Very class. I like that Dave Tripper. That riff is just. Oh crazy. yeah. I yeah. love it. Dave <laughs> if you could go back to any time in history, where would you go? Oh, that's funny. Enough. 69 Woodstock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I was waiting for that one. I didn't yeah. want to even say it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Man, I'd go back to ancient Egypt and I'd be a pharaoh, for <laughs> sure. I've thought about this a lot. You know, I've either the 1920s, like... I don't know. I, I do like our hygiene. being a pharaoh. I, I'm all about the hygiene. If you're so a pharaoh, you got some hygiene. It's going to be like 1900 and on. <laughs> I think the 20s, the roaring 20s. That's a good That would have been, you know, live, live like Gatsby. I don't know. I'd like to do 1999 over again, like not be a 11 year old kid and like enjoy going into the 2000s, you know? That's yeah, I remember the. Because I was like 10, I couldn't really enjoy that whenever, you know, whenever. Yeah, I just had been I'm redo the millennium. Why 2K, man? Yeah. Why 2K? We survived a lot. Yeah, you know, it's like hard times. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, since you said it, favorite Star Wars characters? Ooh. Uh, Boba Fett. Good one. What you got? Darth Vader. Oh man, I, I, uh, did you just pick that? Did you just pick that one? Ah, oh, you're on the spot. I, I'd have to like. I haven't seen yet. Do some Wars introspective in a while. thinking. Um, my favorite. 
Anakin. Wait, what did you say? Anakin. Oh, I don't like the Anakin. I don't like the good, the well, good guys. I hate the actor. I hate the actor that Anakin was. I like the story. I like his story. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. story. Um, favorite Star Wars character. <laughs> hmm. I'm not too. Uh, I'm just gonna go with. Darth Maul, man. He's got oh, double yeah, yeah. lightsaber, yeah, double lightsaber. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. I think he's kind of a meathead, though. There's not much going on. You know, he's kind of just a puppet. He doesn't he talk get, much. He didn't get chopped in half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he wasn't... Yeah, his choice making was not great, I guess. That's getting chopped in half. But he was pretty cool. Yeah. Got good face paint, horns, <laughs> double sword thing. Some Iridonian. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I'm race. That's <laughs> right. Okay. Favorite type of food? Oh. Steak. Man. Manly. <laughs> Very nice. I don't know, like nice greasy cheeseburger. Mm. Some in and out burger. I, I'm like a, oh man, it's hard for me to pick because like just like music, like food, I love all different kinds. I really like Thai food. Actually, I would take mine back. The Migas at Kirby Land. Oh, oh okay, one. okay, like I love, yeah, I love. Anything oh. at Kirby Land. Yeah. If I had to eat only one thing, probably for the rest of the time, though, it might be Thai food. I'm completely in sync with that. <laughs> yeah, anything with rice. Anything rice, with rice. Rice, rice. Rice goes pretty hard. You're a simple person. Rice goes pretty hard. <laughs> rice goes hard. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's about all the time we have. We're going to listen to them play soon. If you want to find anything out about the host party, you can go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash TV. I'm Annie. You're watching Weekly Updates. See you on the hilltop.